So for today's lesson, we are gonna be going over bases and how to place it into our small crevices that our doctor makes for us. With that, we have a couple of choices here. Depending on what selection that your doctor might want, we can use anything from polycarboxylate, IRM, also known as intermediate restorative material, or glass ionomer for whatever reason that we may choose from. The main purpose to a base, if you might ask, is after a decay is detected, removed with a handpiece from the doctor, liner potentially placed, a base right on top of that, and a permanent filling left at the end. And the layer of base is going to act as either an insulating layer to combat any thermal changes that could make your tooth very sensitive, and or also provide sedative relief with any of the different fluoride releasing or eugenol utilizing materials that we have. With that, we still wanna have our mixing pad, our mixing spatula, and another special instrument over here on the side, which is gonna be our condenser because we are going to be using this at the lowest level of where the doctor cut the tooth. The only thing that differs from all these jars, for every one gravity drop of liquid, I need one scoop of powder. And the same thing rolls for this one over here, but this scoop of powder is going to be using a different type of scoop, where this one's not as deep as our IRM here versus this one, which has a different method of compacting with this little bell end and going and tapping it off onto our mixing pad. To be able to figure out how any of these are going to be dispensed, go ahead and check your manufacturer's directions. We're gonna take it and put it into the deepest part of this cavity prep. Your mixing pad is going to need to be firmly planted onto the counter. You're gonna to wanna to have a lot of force when you're pushing and mixing all this material. So make sure that you have a good area that's easily accessible for you to mix in. With this, we're gonna do our choice material of IRM for our base that we have here. With this specific base material being IRM, we're gonna do one scoop of powder, which is a level unpacked scoop, using a method just like I have here, placing that somewhat off center of my mixing pad. Same with my liquid. I'm gonna go and do a gravity drop where I go hold it straight up and with a little bit of squeeze, place the drop of liquid. Now the difference that comes from mixing a base versus the liner that we have in our other video is that the liners are gonna be a fairly simple, easy mix where this one might take a little bit more force and a little bit more know-how about the consistency of this material so that we can get the right mix. With this mix, the main thing that comes about it is using the whole length of the spatula to smoothen out your material a little easier. With that, I'm gonna take my increments that I have already divvied up in these sections and we're gonna go move it over piece by piece to my liquid so I get a nice play-doh. No matter which game that you're playing, whether IRM, polycarboxylate, or glass ionomer, the main thing is this. Mix fast, mix firm, and mix with certainty. That you are going to get that ball mix at the end fairly quickly and hand it off to Doc or use for yourself. I'm using the whole length of my hand to put pressure onto this material so I can get it nice and mixed. And with that, what you want to check in between is your material thickness. With this material right now, if I go and roll it into a ball, it looks like I can go and roll this into a small little snake and I can go and apply this to the tooth fairly easy. The nice thing about having extra powder here is that with my instrument, my condenser, I can go and use this, dip it into the powder, and it's gonna act as a small little barrier as I go and pick up one of these little pieces and you take it over to the mouth to be delivered. We're gonna go take this material to the tooth and you're just gonna go and place it right in the deepest area making sure that it covers that ice cream scoop portion. If you're not able to completely condense the material because it keeps lifting, go get a little bit of powder and put it on the end of your instrument and allows you to go and pack it a little further. Swiping off to the side, making sure it's nice and level. And as always, once we're done mixing and getting our materials placed in our stuff, wipe your instruments to make sure that your sterilization assistants or whoever's over there manning it doesn't have a hard time getting these clean for the next patient. Apart from that style of mixing and placing bases, all these kind of fall under that same aspect, whether they have fluoride releasing capabilities, making it more sedative, or they have more insulating properties without the benefits of fluoride, or they just need a nice temporary fix that can go and be in there for a short amount of time so that we can monitor the health of the tooth. Keep in mind that on this channel, we go over many different dental materials and ways and methods to apply them. Check to see if we have videos for liners, cements, temporary filling materials, provisional materials, and anything else that may fall under the dental realm. Apart from that, take it easy.